In today's video, we are going to cover my favorite time management and productivity apps. The good thing about all these apps is that they're free, so you don't need to sign up for any kind of subscription or pay to download these apps because they will be free to use. And although most of them have a premium version, they are on this list because the features in the premium version are not that essential to make the app useless in case you opt for the free version. So of course I'm going to start this list by referencing Notion. Although Notion has a premium version, it is a powerful free app because the free version allows you to do everything you could do with the premium version, but you have a thousand block limit per workspace. However, with Notion you can create unlimited workspaces, which allows you to categorize different parts of your life according to topic, and by creating different workspaces you're actually able to organize these things better, because you're able to individualize different sections, different pages, and create unlimited layouts like calendars, workflows, lists, video project management, tables, galleries of images. The things you can do with Notion are almost limitless. I will link down below in the description box two videos that I filmed in the past regarding Notion so you can get the most out of this powerful app. The second app, or apps in this case I'm going to refer, is your Google Calendar app or your iCalendar app. Both of these apps are free and I use both of them or I've used both of them in the past. They mostly have the same capabilities, although the design is a little bit different and the good thing about your iCalendar app or Google Calendar is that they sync between all of your devices, they are absolutely free, there is no premium version required and they are detailed enough for you to organize all of your tasks and all of your events in your calendar. A different list in this calendar is going to be iFeedTTT. If this, then that. If this then that basically allows you to program different apps in a very effortless way so you can automate certain productivity tasks instead of having to repeat all the steps every single time. Some examples of what this app can do is after you make a call on your phone, it can log that call on your Google spreadsheet. If you add a new task with your Google Home device, it can automatically add that same task to your iOS calendar. If you post a picture on Instagram, IFTT can automatically save the photo to Dropbox. It can automatically send to Evernote or other note-taking apps any receipt from email receipts coming from Amazon, iTunes, Google Play, automatically saving certain news to your Pocket app, and so on. The list is endless and allows you to automate every single thing you do in your life with your devices or any type of app on your phone or computer. Since we just mentioned Pocket, Pocket is going to be the next thing on this list. Pocket basically allows you to collect different articles around the web, as well as websites, new, certain YouTube videos, etc. Basically, it's a compilation of things you want to read or watch, but you don't have the time to do when you find them online, so Pocket is basically that collection. You can access the app with your account on any device and start reading right away, instead of having to lose those precious pieces of information or those very interesting articles that you don't have the time to read. And you can also organize these different articles, videos and images with tags or archive or favorite them according to your needs. Also, for everyone that enjoys mind mapping, Simple Mind is going to be your go-to favorite tool. With a free Simple Mind subscription, you are able to access the same account on different devices to create your flowcharts as well as mind maps. Despite being on this list, I think that Simple Mind is the app that benefits the most from a premium version. With the premium version, you are able to add images and photos, export mind maps as PDFs or images, add links to documents or web pages, and mainly create a more thorough experience with all different materials you can find either on your computer or on the web. For team coordination, you can also use Slack. Slack mainly allows you to create a workspace which you can then share with different members of your team, with your work group, with your friends. It allows you to create different channels where you can store different ideas and just chat in general about different topics and different things. However, the good thing about Slack is that it also allows for other features. It features some applets that are built into Slack just like Dropbox, Asana, SimplePoll, Google Drive. It also allows you to make calls and video calls and manage documents, images and videos. 
The big difference between the free and the standard versions is that with a standard version you can have unlimited search capabilities, unlimited apps and group calls with more people than one people. However, if you just want to collaborate on a very standard basis, the free version will be more than enough for you. I cannot end this list without mentioning iStudies Pro. iStudies Pro was specifically made for students and it basically allows you to schedule all of your assignments, your homework, tests and midterms, as well as input information about your teachers, your classes, information about textbooks, your class schedule, extracurricular activities, information on your holidays, it also has grade reports and allows you to synchronize with your macOS calendar or Google Calendar app. Also, iStudies Pro is available for iOS, macOS, Windows and Android. And it's individual free in each one of these systems. In case you want to synchronize between different devices, you will have to upgrade to the premium version. However, if you just want to use this app either on your phone, your laptop or your tablet device, you can experience the full free version without any hassles, payments or subscriptions. In case you also want to use your device to improve your active learning and problem-solving skills, today's sponsor Brilliant is the way to go. Brilliant is a platform where you can find full-fledged courses on math and sciences and thousands of problems with step-by-step -step guides and interactive quizzes to help you actively improve your knowledge. Even when you lack the time to sit down in front of your computer for a longer period of time to delve into their courses, Brilliant now features daily challenges, which are quick and allow you to learn something new every single day. Each daily challenge provides you with the context and framework that you need to tackle it, with animations, illustrations and interactive visualizations so that you learn the concepts by applying them. If you like the problem and want to learn more, there's a course that explores the same concept in greater detail. For instance, one of the daily challenges allows you to calculate how much we can send to Mars. But if you want to know more, you can explore the classical mechanics course, which includes 55 interactive quizzes and more than 700 guided problems and explanations. In case you're confused and need more guidance, there's a community of thousands of learners discussing the problems and writing solutions. Daily challenges are thought-provoking problems that will lead you from curiosity to mastery one day at a time. To finally get better at sciences and start doing stuff at a practical level, go to brilliant.org slash Mariana and sign up for free. If you're lucky enough to be one of the first 200 people that go to that link, you'll get 20% off the annual premium subscription. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week. Bye!